Welcome to Shell's Wonderful World of Golf. Today's episode, we're going to have a, a little shine on the uh, Pioneer set from Play.com for History Maker Golf. Uh, two of the early legends, John Henry Taylor, will be taking on James Braid. And they will be playing at the old course in of St. Andrews in Fife, Scotland. Uh, Taylor and Braid each have five Open Championship wins on their resumes, and both have won here at St. Andrews. So this is going to be a good one. So we head to hole one, and uh, before we get going here, we it's windy today, so we roll one die. If it is a one, it's going to be windy. To six that means actually it's going to be calm calm conditions so anything with the windy low uh, little icon on it will be considered a golf cam uh, course so that's good for both players and we get going here hole number one uh, it's a cordial hole starts off uh, the 375 par 4 it's a short opening hole with no bunkers and a very generous fairway only danger is the horseshoe shaped burn across the face of the green so J John Henry Taylor will tee it up first it's a 1 he's going to get control 344 Is he uh, yeoman or puny? Um, he is neither. Is it a firm green? No. It's going to be golf cam green. Three and a par four. Is it a challenging green? It is not. Otherwise, solid approach, easily red, green, great opportunity, clutch putt for birdie. And John Henry Taylor's neutral. So he'll have a 1-3 to three here for a, a birdie. It's a 3. He sinks it. So John Henry Taylor opens up with a, a birdie. Now it's James Baird. Or Braid. Great, he's going to control 136. Duffer or scatter? He is neat. Oh, he's a semi scatter. The decider dice, the decider dice says he's not a scatter. Hero? Is he a hero? He's a semi hero. I'm gonna roll see if he's gonna be a he's gonna be a hero. <clears throat> so lofted onto the green, easy putt for birdie. So an easy putt for birdie here. One to four. Two. So both players open up this match with birdies on the first hole so a good start go to hole two hole two 452 yard par four uh challenging uh, green um, avoid the bunker on the left and gorse on the right first double green with a sharp ridge So, 
Taylor, J.H. Taylor will lead it up first. Six. Taylor is going to take the par. He'll take the par and a blue chip. James Braid. Three. Course controls. 56. Uh-oh, he's going to find himself. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be... It's not windy, and there's a windy thing here, so... So it's going to be a golf cam course. We're playing in calm conditions. One. Is it cordial hole or a laser golfer? Neither. Braid is neither. Daunting hole? No. Otherwise, solid play, easy, putt for par. So, easy putt for par. And Braid sinks it. So, both golfers par the hole number two. We head to hole three. Hole three, semi cordial, firm, green, uh, drive right, avoiding pot bunkers and gorse. Uh, leaves the best angle to avoid the deep bunker. So, John Henry Taylor will lead it off. Trying to get this so uh, a one Taylor will control three thirty six. Is he hot? No, not hot. He was semi hot. He decided that it says no. He did birdie the first hole, but powered the second. Uh, dynamic. He is not. Golf can. Green. Three. Is it challenging green? It is not. Otherwise, solid approach. Easily read green. Great opportunity. Clutch putt for birdie. So Taylor has himself another putt for birdie here. One to three. One to three. It's a four. He's going to lose his blue chip on that clutch putt. He'll par it. So he had an opportunity there. And here comes Braid. Two. Kill control, 566. Legend. He is a legend. Solid shot. Terrific roll. Here 
go to gallery cheers he gets a blue chip and six hacker he is not a hacker otherwise after the shot lands on the green he gets regrettable roll difficult putt for birdie so we just get it's uh, gonna take the I really don't want to use that blue chip for just a extra one just to go to moderate so we'll just go try it out difficult putt for birdie he needs a one it's a four he's gonna miss Now he's got a moderate putt for par. It's one, he sinks it. So both both golfers had sh opportunities there for birdies, and both missed their birdie putts. So they both stay one under. So we head to hole number four. Hole number four. It's a semi-daunting hole. A blast drive over the mounds on the left to a wide fairway. The green is guarded by a deep front bunker. So, John Henry Taylor will tee it up. Five course controls. 55 gonna find the sand on his first shot chunky Taylor chunky no he's not otherwise strong swing Wow he gets a blue chip Reroll the white. One. Reroll again. If he rolls another one, it's a. It's, he's gonna hold it. The two. He's gonna have a gimme putt for birdie. Gimme putt for birdie for John Henry Taylor. Oh, and he just gets it in there. Hangs on the lip for a minute. So a nice birdie putt. Almost hold it. On his second shot. And he'll take a one-stroke lead. Here comes James Braid. Braid's controls. 244. Forty-four. Is he king or dynamic? He is king. To the heart of the fairway. Gallery cheers. Beautiful drive. From Braid. He'll get a, another blue chip. Is a utility he is not routine iron shot energized by a beneficial role moderate putt for birdie so braid has a moderate putt for birdie he's going to use one of his blue chips and make it an easy putt for birdie here one to four. Oh, it's a five he missed it he missed the birdie putt He'll sink his par, but 
two straight holes where he's missed on a birdie putts. And he's going to drop a stroke. So after four holes, J.H. Taylor leads it by a stroke. We go to hole five. Hole five is a double cordial, friendly green, and it's a direct, semi-direct green. It's the, considered the easiest hole on the course if you avoid the pot bunkers. Right, left of the fairway. Um, so Taylor, who birdied the last hole, will get the honors. Gonna control it 245 on this power five. Is he a legend? He's a semi legend, and the cider slip guy says no. Is he a champion? He is not a champion. Unexpected drift from solid iron shot. Misses the green. We'll go to the short game. Five. Soft. It is not. Otherwise solid execution, but unexpected roll. He's going to have a moderate putt for par. It's a 1 to 5 for Taylor here. It's a 1. He sinks the putt, putt. The par putt. Braid. Ready to tee off. James Braid, 6. James Braid is going to attack the green here. Five golfer check. Is he a master? It's a semi master. The cider die says he is. Spectacular shot. Easy putt for Birdie. So James Braid with a beautiful, beautiful wedge play. And he's got himself a easy putt for Birdie. One to four. Yeah. I don't think we're going to use that blue chip and make it a gimme putt. Oh my god, he almost is 65. He just sinks it. So we're birdie for Braid. And we're back to even here through five. Both golfers with a pair of birdies. They hold the whole six. It's going to be a semi cordial hole. Blind tee shot to fairway framed with bunkers. Just a wedge to a flat green with a hidden dip in front. So James Braid will get to tee it up here first. Two, he'll control. 345. Three 
345 push shot drifts towards the rough. Not a good shot from Braid. Valerie is going to groan. Going to get a red chip for that one. Three master, semi master, decider dot says he's not. Otherwise, modest shot back to fairway, strong follow up, iron to green, moderate putt for par. So one to five. So two, he sinks it. Par for breed. J.H. Taylor. Six. Taylor's going to take the par and take the blue chip. It's going to give him two blue chips here. We move to the seventh. Seventh hole, cordial. The only true dog leg on the course. Short drive and then a wedge to a left to right green guarded by a deep bunker. Braid will get the honors again. Braid's going to use his red chip. Let the course control here. Thirty-four, thirty-four golf can course. Six. Is it a daunting hole? Nope. Otherwise, two great shots and a chance to convert. Clutch putt for birdie for Braid, and he's a semi-gold putter. He's doesn't get the decider die there, so he's going to be neutral. One to three for Braid for Birdie. Six, he misses the Birdie putt. He's going to get that red chip right back. Par putt, knocks it in. So the story of this first front nine here is Braids. He's missed three birdie putts here. Could have built a nice and comfortable lead here, but his putter has been betraying him early on. Here's Taylor. Taylor controls 235. Is he a legend? He's a semi legend. Does cider dice? Is he's not? Is he a champion? He's not. Go to the now chart. Two. Is he hot? He is not hot. Otherwise, on green and regulation, difficult putt for birdie. Difficult putt for birdie. He's going to take this opportunity to use his blue chip, both his blue chips, to go to an easy putt for birdie. One to four. One to four. Ooh, he knocks it in. 
So a birdie for J.H. Taylor here on the seven. And he's going to grab the one-stroke lead. As we head to the eighth. The eighth is a semi-challenging. Uh, hitting towards the skyline to a large, relatively flat green, guarded by pop bunkers in front. So Taylor will tee it up here. Course controls, 16, golf cam course. Three. Is it a cordial hole? No. Daunting hole? No. Otherwise, make this one and move on. Easy putt for par. So easy putt for par. Knocks it in. James Braid. Course controls forty six. Uh oh. Oh. Calm conditions so the windy will turn into a golf cam course. Six daunting hole or hacker golfer? No. Otherwise, solid tee shot leaves excellent opportunity. Clutch putt for birdie. And again, he does not get the decider die, so he will be neutral. So one to three. One to three. Five. He misses another clutch putt. Another red chip is second. And Braid blows another shot at a birdie. Sinks his par putt. And... Taylor will keep his one stroke lead. Hole number nine. Semi cordial, friendly, green, plays like a long par three. 352 yards. Uh, Gorse. Left of green, green clear of danger at the front. So Taylor will tee it up first. He'll control two forty six. Forty-six is he a duffer? He's not champion. Neither champion. Go to the experience chart. Four is he an icon? He is an icon. Draws on experience to shape shot to course expertly done. Easy putt for birdie. So John Henry Taylor with another opportunity at birdie here. Oh, he's going to miss. He's going to miss.
you know, hit the par putt and move on. So both golfers missing some easy putts here. Baird, or Breed, I'm sorry, is going to use one of his red chips and let the course control. Fourteen. Oh, he's going to find the rough. Find a rough two. Is he a master? Semi master, decider dies. Die says he is. Big swing sends the ball flying out from debris. Wow. It's going to get a blue chip, so it's going to take away his other red chip. Re roll the white die here. One. If he, he rolls another one, it's going to be an eagle. It is! Oh, a big eagle. He chips in for the eagle. What a shot by James Brady. He hits his... I don't know. What, I can't remember what they called the what they use for wedges, the mashy or the, or not the mashy, the, I don't know what it was called, but he hit the eagle uh, pitch. And that's going to give him the one stroke lead. So Braid overcame some uh, faulty putting in the front nine and gets it all back with that eagle on nine and takes a one stroke lead into the back nine. So Braid at four under and Taylor at three under. So we head to the tenth. It's a cordial hole. Semi-challenging green. Playing in the opposite direction to the ninth. Bunkers guard the front right of the green. Tricky green falls away from the golfer. So 386 yard par four. And James Braid's going to get the honors. After his scintillating eagle on nine. Crowd's still buzzing. No control here. A 134. Direct green, no. Hacker, nope. Go to the experience chart. Three. Is he a prospect? He is not. Otherwise, well shaped shot sets up an easy putt for birdie. So one to four. It's. A birdie for Braid. John H. Taylor. John Henry Taylor, I should say. No control. 166.
Yeoman? He is not a yeoman. Stormy? No. Go to the experience chart again. One. Prospect? Nope. What a shot. Gimme putt for birdie. So a nice hole for both golfers. Both birdie here the number ten hole. We head to the eleventh. Hundred and seventy four yard par three. Semi daunting. Intimidating par three with sloped green guarded by severe bunker at the front. James Braid will tee it up. Three course controls, 56. Windy conditions, There's, it's not, it's calm, so it's going to be a golf cam course. Cordial hole, no. The daunting hole, semi daunting. Decider dice as it is. Nicely safe in the rough clutch putt for par. So braid. We'll have a clutch putt for par. Let's see if he's gold or not. He is. He's going to have. It's going to be one to five. He's got it. So he saves par, picks up a blue chip. And John Henry Taylor set to go here. Six. I think he's going to take his par and take a blue chip of his own. Move on to the next hole. Up the hole 12. Hole 12. 348 yard par 4. Deceptive short hole where the tee shot plays bunker lottery. Two tiered green demands accuracy, especially to the upper tier. So Braid will get the honors once again. Two. He's going to control. 456. Four fifty six. If I like that black uh, felt, can't really see the dice very well, can you? Uh, anyways, whoops, it's 456. Go right to golf cam green. Five. Is it a friendly green? It's not. Challenging green? No. Otherwise, a well played from tee to green. Easy putt for par. So, easy putt for par. And he just puts it in. We move on to Taylor. Taylor 
is going to control. 113. Scatter golfer, no. Hacker, no. Moderate putt for birdie. So one to two, he's going to use his blue chip and take an easy putt here. Easy putt for birdie. For John Henry Taylor, this will even the match. He sinks it, and we're tied. Going into the 13th. Head to hole 13. Four hundred and sixty-five yard par four. Semi daunting. Avoid the line of coffin bunkers and you're still left with a long iron which must carry to the green, avoiding another deep bunker. Taylor will get the honors here. Six. He is going to Take the blue chip. Take the par. James Braid. He rolls a six as well. But he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna go for it here, I think. He's attacking the green. Braid. Unfortunate break. Difficult putt for par. Oh, not smart for him to do that. So difficult putt for par. Still, he can par here with a one to three. He's going to have to use his blue chip. He needs to sink this par here. One to five. It's a one. I guess he didn't need to use it, but keeps this match even. So we head to hole 14. Fourteen. 614 yard par five semi daunting uh, drive needs to clear the bunkers on the right left and avoid the out of bounds on the right and I should say the, just in case you're unfamiliar with this set uh, these uh, pioneers are I mean this is not the same uh, I'm guessing there's been some changes to the um, St. Andrews since the 1800s. So, uh, but these golfers are more made uh, to play alongside the uh, modern golfers. Um, but they do the the set comes with a couple nine hole courses from that period, which is really cool. So. All right. So Taylor will tee it up. Another six. He's going to attack the green, I think, this time. Golfer check. Is he a master? He's a semi master. Decider dice says he's not. Is he a workman? 
Nope. Otherwise, he's got a difficult putt for birdie. So, difficult putt for birdie. He needs a one. Not going to use his blue chip for this. So, it's a four. He misses the difficult putt for birdie. He now has a moderate putt for par. He sinks that. And par is the par 5 14th. James Braid. James Braid for course controls 35 golf can course. So the daunting hole, it's a semi-daunting hole, the cider dice as it is, fights through the course to barely get on the green in three, clutch putt for par, for braid, and roll to see if he is going to be a gold or not, he is not, it's going to be neutral, so one to three for a par here, he misses the par putt. I think it's the first bogey of the match. That's going to drop a st stroke to Taylor, who takes the lead. Unfortunate there for Braid. He's had a rough time with that hole. We head to the 15th. 15th, par 4, 455 yards. The fairway tightens at 300 yards, but the green is open apart from humps and bumps in the, at the front end, a small pot bunker. Taylor keeps it up. Course controls, 12, uh-oh, double green. It's going to be a double difficult part for birdie. So double difficult putt for birdie. Needs a one and a decider die. Does not get it. He's going to miss the birdie putt. Now he'll have a difficult putt for par. He's going to use his blue chip, make it a moderate putt for par, and he'll get it. Knocks it in for a par. Here comes James Braid. Six. Braid's going to attack the green again. He's playing a little loose here. Three. Reaches fringe of the green. Double difficult pitch for Birdie. Double difficult, same thing. He's gonna have to get a one and a decider die. Nope, he's gonna miss it. Now he'll have a moderate putt for par. And he'll knock it in. So both golfers par here. Getting down to the nitty gritty now. We head to hole 16.
16, semi daunting, firm green, a tight drive without a bounce down the right of the entire hole. Let's see how these golfers attack it here. Taylor gets the honors. 16. He's going to find the sand on his first shot. Oh, it's a pop bunker, so play it as a playing it as the water. That's not good. Five. Icon, he is. After drop, calmly lost shot to the fringe of the green. Difficult putt for par. So not necessarily a drop. It was a probably just just got it out of the pot bunker. Then he has that. Uh... Difficult putt par. So he needs a one to three. He got it. So Taylor saves par. You're landing in that pot bunker. Here comes James Braid. Close controls, 14. Gonna find the rough. His first shot. Workman? No. Otherwise, digs out of the rough with solid iron to outer fringe green. Easy second putt for par. So, braid. No par. We head to the 17th. Let's see where we are score wise here. So it's going to be a one stroke lead right now for Taylor. Great, holding on. Seventeenth is a 495 yard par four, daunting and challenging green, considered to be the toughest par four in golf. Drive over the hotel to a narrow fairway, then avoid the dangerous bunker short and path wall along. So. Gonna be Taylor up first. Course controls 44. 44 is gonna second shot's gonna find the rough. Is he a master? He's semi. Cider die says he is. 
ball rockets out of the rough straight for the flag. Pin. Reroll this way, die. Two. Dies in the vicinity of pin. Easy putt for par. Taylor rattles it home. Don't get a par. Now Braid looking for looking for some magic here. Course controls 22. He's gonna find the rough on his first shot. The workman, no. Nope. Although it digs up in the rough with solid iron to outer fringe of the green, easy second putt for par. So he'll he'll par as well. And we go to the 18th with Taylor holding a one-stroke lead. Okay, the 18th. It's a cordial hole, semi-challenging green, short, simple, drivable, and dramatic. Out of bounds down the right, valley guard in the front of the green, a fitting closing hole. Okay, here comes John Henry Taylor. John Henry Taylor rolls a six. He's going to... He's going to try to put some pressure on Braid here. Attack the green. He could take the par, but he really doesn't need the blue chip. He's going to attack the green. Or golfer check. Is he a master? Semi-master. Sire Dice says he's not. Workman, though, no. otherwise, difficult putt for birdie. So, needs a one. It just misses it. Crowd groans. They thought he dropped it. So now it's going to be a moderate putt for par. And he sinks it. So, that puts all the pressure. On James Braid, who needs a birdie to at least get a playoff. No chips left for either golfer. Braid is going to control 246. Is he a duffer? He is not a duffer. Is he a champion? Nope, not a champion. Go to the experience chart. A two. Is he an icon? He is an icon. He made a similar shot last week. Amazing. A gimme putt for birdie. A clutch. Clutch, give me putt here. Oh, he makes it, and we're gonna go to a playoff, folks. Unbelievable. Braid with the birdie on eighteen.
So both golfers finished the 18 at 5 under 67s. And we're going to go to a playoff. Oh, wait. Did I just do 17? Oh, I never do, moved over to 18. Uh, sorry about that, folks. I did play on the card, though, 18, so. Uh, so. I'm not sure how they did playoffs back then, if they did. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start. Uh, I think they played the whole number around again, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start with hole one. Oh, wait, let's yeah, let's start with hole one and go from there and then okay, it's sudden death. So back to hole one. Braid's going to tee it up. Braid, course controls, 22, golf cam course. Six. It's a daunting old note. Otherwise, two great shots and chance to convert. A clutch putt for birdie for Braid. Cider Dice says he's going to be a gold. So one to five. It's a four. Braid. It's a blue chip if he needs it. And now John Henry Taylor has his work cut out for him here. He needs a birdie to go on. Three. Course controls. 25. Golf game course. One. Cordial hole. Yes, it is. Accurate shots. He has a clutch putt for birdie as well. He is neutral, though. So one to three. This is for the match. If he sinks it, we go to another playoff hole. He misses. Hey, and John Henry Taylor misses his birdie putt. Knocks in the par, but it's not enough. Braid comes back to win this match. On the first playoff hole. Finishes at six under. Beautiful match. Braid could have been even better if he played that front nine and a little stronger in the putting, but uh, it came out in the end for him, came through in the end for him, especially on that last, on the first playoff hole there. So there you have it. Episode two. And we'll see you next time for another round. Have a good night.